today's class on chemistry practical focus. We want to see some questions they can ask us in volumetric analysis or titration. We have posted some questions one can see on titration or on volumetric analysis and today we want to discuss on determination of percentage purity or impurity of a solution. That means if one has a pure acid and maybe unknowingly to him on coming back from where he went to, someone mistakenly pour sand inside it. That acid with that sand will no longer be called pure acid. We'll call it impure acid. Now, since it is already impure, it is the knowledge of chemistry that we can now determine the percentage purity of the acid. Then we can also determine the percentage impurity of that uh, acid. That is, we'll determine the pure part of the acid and the impure part of the acid, that is the sand, the quantity, the percentage. Okay? So, that is why we want to discuss this topic because it will help us to know how to do the determination of percentage purity. It is important to also note that once an acid or once a base is being contaminated, it is the pure part of it that will go into reaction. Let's say once an acid is being contaminated, it is the pure part of it that will go into reaction with a base. And for you to be able to get the solution or the question well solved, you have to consider well-balanced stoichiometric equ equation. That is, you have to make use of well-balanced stoichiometric equation. How? Let's see the question we have for today. 25 cm cube of a solution containing 1 gram of impure sodium hydroxide pellet per 250 cm cube require 20 cm cube of 0.05 mol per dm cube of H2SO4 for complete neutralization. That means the percentage purity of the sodium hydroxide pellet. We have been told that this sodium hydroxide is impure. That means it is contaminated with any contaminants, so to speak. Now, first thing you do is that write your equation of reaction. What are you reacting? H2SO4 plus sodium hydroxide. When you write it, it will now help you to know what you are doing. This will go to this. Why this will go to this? Sodium has valency of plus one. Sulfate has valency of. So this will come down here and one will come down here, giving you Na2SO4. So we write Na2SO4. We say plus. When hydrogen and OH meet, hydrogen and OH, when they meet, they will be giving you what? Water. So it means it will form water joint. Okay? So we have seen this. Now, next thing to do is to check if the equation is balanced. This is two hydrogen plus this strength. This is two hydrogen. Wow. One sodium, two sodium. You put two here. Making two sodium, two sodium. Two hydrogen plus two hydrogen. Four. This is two. You put two here. Four hydrogen. Two hydrogen plus two hydrogen. Four hydrogen. This four hydrogen. This is two sodium. This two sodium. One sulfate. One sulfate. Then two oxygen. Then two oxygen. You now said the equation is balanced. You note that. Now, next thing you do is that the SI unit of mass concentration of any salt, any uh, base, any acid, the mass concentration of it is always in gram per dm cube. Mass conch, mass conch 
of what sodium hydroxide that a pure sodium hydroxide is in gram per day cube but what they gave us is one gram per 250 cm cube now you don't solve it with this you need to convert it to what dm cube you need to convert it to dm cube how you say one gram is in what 250 cm cube that is the one given the question then in 1000 cm cube 1000 cm cube is equivalent to 1 dm cube you now cross multiply that will be giving you 1 times 1000 all over what 250 this year one this year four that means it will be giving you four gram per dm cube this is the actual mass concentration of sodium hydroxide four gram per dm cube now this is the mass of the impure sodium hydroxide then what you will now do is that for us to determine the percentage purity of the substance, we need to know we need to know the mass of pure sodium hydroxide. And we said it is the pure sodium hydroxide that will go into reaction with H2SO4. When you carry this impure sodium hydroxide and react to H2SO4, it is the pure part of it that will go into the reaction. Then the impurity will just be there it will not go into reaction because it is not a sodium hydroxide, so to speak. So what we do is that there are formulas we use in solving questions on volumetric analysis. One of it is that we say molar conk equals to mass conk over molar mass. Molar conk is unit is mole per dm cube. Mass comp is gram per dm cube. Molar mass is gram per mole. Then another formula is formula that involves dilution formula CAVA all over NA equal to CBVB all over NB. Now you need to ask yourself which are you to use? This is your what? VA, volume of acid, concentration of acid, volume of the base. Now, the ratio of the acid to base, this is Na equal to 1. This is the ratio Mb equal to what? 2. The ratio of the base. Then, what you now do is you say Ca was given to us as 0 0.05 from the question. VA was given as 20 all over, then VB was given um, NB. This is NA, please. NA was given as 1 from the equation. You get it from your equation, well balanced equation. Equals to CB times VB. VB is 25 all over, MB is 2. Please set me calculate. Okay, so from here we now say that from here we now say that CB will be equal to we'll cross multiply 2 times 0 0.05 times what 20 all over 2 times 0 0.05 times 20 all over 25. Okay, so 2 times 0 0.05 times 20 divided by 25. That will be giving us 0 0.08 mole per dm cube. 0 0.08 mole per dm cube. Okay, then this is what we call the molar conk of the base molar conk of what base and that is the pure base the pure aspect of the base which reacts with the word acid remember this is what reacted with the acid now what we now do is that we need to get this value in what a mass and how do we get it we say mass conk 
will be equal to molar tongue times molar mass. Wow. So mass conk will now give us what is our this is mass conk that is gram per dm cube. What is our molar conk? 0.08. We are looking for mass conk of the base. That is the pure base that reacted, and we say we get it from the equation and from the reaction. Then the impure part will not react. So this times what is the molar mass? Molar conk is 0.08. Molar mass is what? We are considering sodium hydroxide. Sodium is 23. That is atomic mass of sodium. Oxygen is 16. Atomic mass of oxygen. Hydrogen is 1, giving you 40 gram per mole. So I will now say times 40 gram per mole. Let's see what it gives us. Times 40. That will be giving me 3.2 gram per dm cube. This will be called the mass of the pure sodium hydroxide because we got it from this reaction. That means if this is the mass of pure sodium hydroxide, what is the percentage purity? Percentage purity will be equal to mass of the pure sodium hydroxide which is equal to 3.2 all over mass of the total solution. That is mass of that total impure, which is 4 times 100 over 1. That will be giving us 3.2 divided by 4 times 100. That will be giving me 80%. This is in percentage purity. Then if they ask you what is the percentage impurity of that sodium hydroxide, since the total percentage is 100, Minus 80% from 100. That will be giving you 20% of the impure substance. That is, impure substance added is 20%. Why the pure substance is what? 80%. Now, this is another way you can get the impure. Another way you can get it is by saying the total, which is 4. The total impure. That is the total, that is the pure and the impurity. 4 minus the pure part, which we got to be 3.2, that would be what? 0 0.8. Then you now say all over the total, which is what? 4 times 100 over 1. That will still give you what? 20%. So that is how to solve question of this.